Hi, how are you? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we completed the dungeon Black Fathom Deeps, and today we are back in Scarlet Monastery Library. Hopefully we can do... Armory after. And I also forgot to get the key the last time I was here, so... Hopefully we can get that as well. Oh, this Lamella guy's getting wrecked. You should heal him. I should probably go to an AoE spec. And I also need to use freedom on people. So I can get this ru ruin here because we have the Libra of Deliverance. And we have to use Blessing of Freedom to free others from movement and pairing effects five times. So you have to pay attention when people have movement and pairing effects on them. You have dog whistle, so you might as well use that. I got this the last time we were here. Get it off of the next boss we are going to fight, which is Houndmaster Loxy. Drops this thing called the the dog whistle, and you get this little dog tracking out. Does damage for you. All right, so let's get Divine Storm back up. And I think we should use Rebuke, too, on our legs. How much damage our dogs do? Decent amount. There we go. Hey, we did quite a bit. Yeah, tracking out doing a little bit of damage, not too much, but better than nothing. Kind of like a, a paladin slash hunter right now. And switching to Divine Storm, clearly worth it. Yeah. Increased our deep DPS by, by a lot. All right, so we have to slay these. Slay Herod. High Inquisitor, White Mane, Scarlet Commander, Mograin, and Houndmaster, Loxley. And then after that, we will get the Bonebiter Axe, which is much better than Farragut's Fist. Just too bad, but we'll, we'll, we're eventually going to replace this weapon. Farragut's Fist does 25.6 damage. Bonebiter does 38.8. So it's quite the upgrade. We will be switching once we are able to equip Bone Biter. There we go, we're going Release in. Release the hounds! Sleep down. See what he dropped this time. 
And we drop Foxy's training stick. 60 attack power with fighting beasts. The staff. Guess that's for like a druid, maybe? Not too sure, but we don't need it. But we want it anyways. We got the training stick, I guess. Nobody else wanted it. We greed rolled it. And we won with a 61 greed roll. Our doggo is still up doing damage. And we could potentially get level 36 here. We'll probably be in Scarlet Monastery for a little bit. Try to get a few levels here. And then we'll make our way over to... Razor Fin Downs. Some nice gear in there. Maybe we'll do another BFB. Who knows? Get pretty good XP in there. And there is a chance of getting some decent loot as well. Stunned him there. Mana burn hurts. Lost pretty much all our mana there. One thing about this dungeon, it sucks for mana users. Mana burns quite a bit of damage. Let's have a drink here. Get our mana back up. And this is the room where we got the priest ruin. Pain suppression. We should get rid of the chaplain first. And I need to remember to get the key. This will probably be our last time in Scarlet Monastery Library, guys. sure if he's going to pull more or just go. Doesn't really matter. Pretty sure we'll get the level no matter what he does. Oh, he's doing it. My bad. I pulled everybody anyway, so that's good. Damn it. Pick that fireball. Another mana burn. I don't have anything to interrupt that. Let's 
Bull is actually doing quite a bit of damage to us. We seem to be all right. We got through it. Need to keep buffs up on everybody here. Buff them now. Buff the hunters, pet us. There we go. Try to stun the, the mana burn here. flying through this place, man. Not having any trouble at all. Stun this mana burn here. It's like the tank leveled up. Grants. Oh, maybe that was the warrior? Or the hunter pet? Oh, here we go. The final hall. Oh, here comes a mana burn. We have ran out of mana. It doesn't happen that often. Guess we'll use a mana pot. Maybe or should we? No, we don't need it. Our mana regens pretty damn quick with Theater Strike. Let's get in there. The tank is getting wrecked. Hopefully the tank can stay alive. Stun the fireball, bring him in here. AoE damage. chest over there. I don't know if anyone's going to roll for it, but I'll roll a 35 for the chest. And we greed rolled a smooth bore gun. We won that. Most likely sell that for 77 silver. Looks like the tank, I mean the warrior one with the 94 for the chest. So he's going to get the chest. See what he got. Archer's longbow. Another bow and two golden bark apples. I wonder what the tank. Okay, there we go. So 
wondering for a second if he was ready to come. I guess he was waiting for the mage to get a little bit of mana. Should we stay in? in righteous fire? Yes, we will. A bubble. There we go. Just in time. Let's take the bubble off here. We can do more damage. All right. Illusionary rod dropped. Seven stamina. Fifteen intellect. And twelve magical spell damage. Healing as well. And the Robe of Dome dropped. 13 stamina. And 5 damage and healing. So there we go, guys. We got the key. We messed up last time. We didn't get it, but now we got it. And the next dungeon should be... Scarlet Monastery Armory. So I'm looking forward to that. There's some nice loot in there for us. Hopefully we can get some of it. Here we are in Scarlet Monastery Armory. Looking forward to this. Hope we get some good loot, guys. I'll look over the loot here just to show you. It's just Herod that drops the loot. We got the Raging Berserker Helm, 213 armor, 13 strength, 8 stamina, and improves... Our chance to get a critical strike by 1%. That'd be an awesome helm to get. Hair Rod Shoulders is another one. 196 armor, 6 strength, 15 stamina. Big upgrade for us. The Scarlet Leggings. 233 armor, 20 strength, 10 stam. So this is all male gear too. And then the Epic Axe. The, the Ravager Axe. Awesome Axe. Very fun to play with. 37.3 damage and also has a chance on hit. You attack all nearby enemies for 9 seconds. Looks like we just leveled up. 9 seconds causing weapon damage plus an additional 5 every 3 seconds. So you just spin with the Axe and do awesome AoE damage. A lot of fun to use. And we just leveled up, so we're going to level up a town here, guys. We got another rank of two-handed weapon specialization, which will increase the damage we deal with two-handed weapons by 4%. And I just learned something today, guys. Personally, they made a change in, in Classic WoW. I don't know if this is in all of World of Warcraft, but I know it's in Classic now. If you make a new account for a game for a while, you can't use the auction house for 30 days. So your first month of WoW that you sub to with a new account, you can't use the auction house. And that is clearly to battle against botters. So, good on them for doing that. I think that's honestly better than removing GDKPs from the game. So, I'm happy with it. And the DPS ranks and healing ranks that came out for Sunken Temple. And it's looking like physical DPS back on top again. You have hunters and and rogues up on the 
and like number one and two. And then th the rest is just a bunch of other physical DPS classes, including Paladin. And then after that, you get Warlocks, Mages, Priests. And they're not doing the greatest damage. But I think that'll maybe pick up eventually. I think it's probably due to mana issues. I assume most of those classes just run out of mana. Fights are probably a little too long. And then their DPS just falls off. Healers are... I, b I believe it's Druid and, and Priest again, pretty sure. And Paladin's up there as well. Priest is always... They always make Priest good at healing. Let's get everybody pumped up again. It's too bad we couldn't... Um, get ourselves a better blessing, which makes it 10 minutes instead of 5. Did the we did graveyard three times and we didn't get it. It's unfortunate. doing pretty good in here. The tank was kind of worried, but he's doing great. Doing just fine in this dungeon. I think Cathedral might be a little bit of a challenge, but I think we could do Cathedral as well. We're four levels away from 40 to 50, guys. That's going to be interesting. Looking forward to doing Zulfarak again. Hopefully we eventually get into Sunken Temple. I know I've been kind of not really getting into raiding as much. But I do want to try Gnomergon. I do Gnomergon for sure. But uh, can't make any guarantees about Sunken Temple. I'll try my best to get in the group for that. One hell of a pull. I guess. Stun this. in time. One pal will pull here. Tank is doing a lot of damage. Probably get back in, in here and here we get our Divine Storm off. Yeah, maybe we'll do plays a rep power in there. Or maybe we'll heal it. If I have a chance to do something temple. I don't know if I'll level the, the priest 50. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll level another class. Yeah, tanks. Paladin tanks do crazy AoE damage, man. That was awesome. Stayed alive, too. I think the combination of Divine Storm with Consecration is pretty damn strong. Yeah, Consecration does 5.5k. The reason why Consecration is so strong is because you can just pull as many mobs as you, as you want. And there's no limit to the amount of damage you can do to the mobs. Sort of like Mages with Blizzard. And, uh... Living Bomb as well. I think Living Bomb just, whoever it hits, it does damage to.
Paladin's awesome. We barely ever have mana issues. That Paladin's actually kind of cool. This might be a good tier to actually play Red or, or, or play a Prop Paladin. Because it seems like physical DPS is the way to go for now. It's only week one, though. Or, like, we've only been, like, a, a week in. So things, got, things will change as classes get gear, but... Physical DPS is going to be pretty damn good during this tier. Last tier it was casters doing well. Yeah, we could replace Varigan's Fist here, guys. That could potentially happen. If we get Ravager, we're most likely replacing it. It'd be so much fun getting Ravager. I hope we get it. It'd be cool to do, like, Scarlet Monastery dungeons with it. Because if they do big pulls like this, if you get a pull where, um, say he pulls like six or, or nine mobs, do insane AoE damage with their Ravager if it procs. And while it hits the mobs, like while you're doing the AoE, it can continue procking, which means you can just spin forever. I remember on my warrior, especially as Horde with... Um, Wind Fury Totem active. You had a chance to actually proc two hits while you were spinning, which increased the, your proc chance. So you were literally just doing AoE spinning all the time. It was so much fun, man. I, I miss 2019 Classic so much. I know it'll never be the same, even if they did do it like twenty, like a complete reset of classic again on a fresh server. But it was a great time. I'm happy I played. My favorite gaming experience in, in WoW. Maybe one of my top gaming experiences I've ever had. It was a lot of fun. I just know if it came back, that the hype wouldn't be there. That's for sure, right? I have a feeling people are getting a little burnt out from Classic WoW, maybe. I've like been playing Classic WoW for like five years now. <laughs> it's crazy how time flies. But it's, it's fun, man. I enjoy it. I think what they're doing is season of discovery is pretty cool. But I do wish they did a reset of uh, of classic. Like after, a, I guess, a six year period or a five year period. They, you know, just do the trilogy once again on a new server. Be cool if they were like, yep, here we go, starting again. You guys will go from, you know, classic vanilla to TBC, and then after that to Wrath of the Lich King. That'd be great. 
I enjoyed it. A TBC was a lot of fun. A TBC is a lot better than I thought it would be. But I still like vanilla more. I don't know if I'd say it's better than Wrath. Like, a lot of people right now are saying it's better than Wrath because they want it to come back. They want it to be, like, a classic PPC era server. But... I think they're pretty even. I like the raids more in, in Wrath. I also like Northern more than Outland, to be honest. I think it's just a way cooler zone. <laughs> I just enjoy it more. I enjoy leveling in Northern more. But I am a rat baby, so I'm... I'm a, I would say I'm biased. I mean, if you guys don't know what a rat baby is, somebody who started playing World of Warcraft when Wrath of Lich King came out, or during Wrath of Lich King. But most people started playing WoW. This one became sort of mainstream. You know, the South Park episode came out. And he had all those commercials with William Shatner, I believe, or a nice. I forget his name. Mr. T. Yeah. The Night Elf Mohawk commercial. I remember seeing that a bunch of times. South Park episode was hilarious. I love that. Let's buff everybody up. This is the last hallway. I always try to pull this hallway, like the whole thing. It's a fun pull. Oh, we don't have a uh, retro shark. I, we got ganked. I, I think I mentioned this maybe earlier. We got ganked by a hunter like when we walked out. There's literally a hunter. Like the trolling has started already. Level 50 hunter outside of Scarlet Monastery. Planting traps on at library and just one shotting everybody when they run out. It's pretty hilarious. Completely wrecked me. I should have I didn't bubble fast enough. Well I actually didn't have bubbles on cooldown because I used it during the boss fight. At the end to avoid the big AoE damage. Yeah this dungeon run was great. Did actually pretty good in here. We haven't killed the last boss yet, but I assume we're gonna do well. Okay. Herod. Oh, wow, it's kind of shield bashed me. I wish you could get the the blessing rune in here, but you can't. You, get it in, you have to do a graveyard. There he is, Herod. The Scarlet Champion. We'll have a drink while we're up here. I 
He's level 40. I think everybody should be able to hit him. The, the, the mage would have trouble, but the mage is healing, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, I've been waiting for a real challenge. Probably have changed my spec a few more damage, but I don't think it matters too much. We start spinning soon. We can we won't really do any damage, I don't think, if we yeah, he's immune to our judgment. That spells Light, give me strength, Blade of Light! It would have been awesome if they made a Scarlet Monastery raid. I think I would have preferred. I think I would have been more excited to do that than no <laughs> uh Oh, this guy got chopped in. <laughs> Our tank's head got completely chopped off. People need to stop taking so much damage from this ability. It's gonna chop our head off soon. We're gonna have to bubble. I think we'll be okay. Seems like the warrior's tank. Should finish him off after this. I'll just heal myself. Oh, GG. Arrow down and the berserker, the raging berserker helm dropped is what it's going to look like if we win it. Let's see if we got it. Got a bunch of Scarlet trainees. We won! We won the helmet, guys. Oh yeah. Luck is on our side. Let's just see if we can put this bad boy on. Level 37, so we're, we're one level away. And we will be able to put this helmet on. But, I'll take it. That's one item down. We got the helm, now we just need the chest. And hopefully the Ravager. I hope we can get the Ravager, guys, but if we can't, it is what it is. But, as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.